Have you ever wondered where did Jesus get his power from or why did he have his power? Was it because he was the son of God? Or was it because that he had no sin on him? What actually gave him power? As a Christian, I myself wondered this too, and I always thought it was because he was the Son of God, and many people think about this too. But he was the Son of God not only whenever he was 30 years old, he was the Son of God from birth. So why is it until he was 30 years old, he did not walk in power? Well, I want to tell you why. You see, Jesus chose to show you and I an example. He says, greater things will you and I do, even after he's gone, because of someone that's going to rest upon us. And he chose to show this example to us from the beginning of his ministry until the end. Before he had this one thing, he could do no ministry. But the moment he received this thing, from that point on, he could do anything possible. I want to tell you guys this from Mark chapter 1 verse 9. That it came to pass that Jesus, in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the spirit descending on him like a dove. Then the voice came out to heaven saying, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. See, Jesus was walking a pure and blameless life up until the age of 30 and until he died. But something happened at 30 years old that was a marking point in Jesus' life. Someone descended on him and gave him the power from on high to resist the devil even more, first of all, and second of all, to walk in power around this earth, to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Who this someone is is pointing to us in this verse that it says that he saw the heavens parting and the spirit descending on him like a dove. Now, why do I draw this conclusion? Well, if you just turn a few books later to Acts chapter 1, and when you turn to Acts chapter 1, in verse 8, it says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses of me in Jerusalem, in all of Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the world. Jesus, after he had received power, showed an example for the disciples to walk alongside him and follow him and see what to do after he left. He tells them that, hey, this one thing is important. You must receive power. That's why you should not go anywhere, but you must stay here and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You see, Jesus, even though he was the Son of God, even though he was blameless without sin, he chose to fully rely on the power of the Holy Spirit for all of his ministry. And we must too. It shouldn't be on our own righteousness. It wasn't because Jesus was sinless that he had power. And it wasn't only because he was the Son of God that he had power. It was because he had the Holy Spirit. And we as Christians have the ability to have the Holy Spirit living within us, working and manifesting through us to cast out demons, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and heal the sick. Whenever we have all these things, then we will be walking in the same power that Jesus walked in. You see, this power is given to us not just so that we can be flashy with all of our works that we can do, but to drive the goal in this world, which is salvation, which is to witness about Jesus to all the realms of this world, to all, every single place. We have the ability to go with us through signs and wonders and the gospel. The gospel is that important, but the gospel has to be followed with the power, and the power comes from on high, from the Holy Spirit. If Jesus needed that power, guess what? So do you and I. We have the ability to go into our secret place even today and say, God, we need your power. We need your Holy Spirit. And as we come to him with ourselves, he then comes and fills us with himself. So guys, I want you to say, be blessed. Get into your secret place. Get the, into the power of God and see how the power of God will transform your life to look more and more like Jesus. I want to say that to you. And for those of you that are watching this channel and you are liking what you're seeing and you have been growing in faith through watching this content, I just ask you, please subscribe to this video. Please like it and share it to your friends so that they can grow as well. May you be blessed. May you be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Have a good one.